Aloha kakaiyaka means good morning to you with my healthy morning fruits and vegetables and some herbs sometimes. So I have an appointment today. Finally got everything all together and we're on schedule because it's October, you know, our landscape our 90 day plan, how we're going to do this Minico bubble system, our cocoa jar. Finally, it's here, my Minico bubble. It's like heaven on earth, literally. That's why that machine specifically is called heaven. And my yoga station, um, my letter I wrote to my attorney back in May on my um, update structure for 20 years <laughs> because I'm by myself in case something happens my lawyer have been in writing so you learn a lot you know I think back the last 20 years for me was um, really an interesting ride I got married I was in a marriage I got a divorce <laughs> I started my own company. I had dogs that I was showing and not only here in Hawaii, but also in Japan. And things were a little hectic back then. And 20 years now, I'm sitting here writing my next 20 year plan. And, you know, for me, is it's all about being organized and bringing clarity to, to your everyday life. And a lot of times we say, we don't have the time. Okay, and what are you using your time for? And so, you know, everyone has to always know their finance. And today I'm gonna to go and sit down and have a beautiful lunch meeting with my CPA who supposedly be retired but you know he always so sweet gives me that time of talking and you know developing and he's my you know he's my critic you know when I used to have the shop out at Kapilani Kokojura out there he's like don't sign the lease quit or you know don't do your business out there everything is gonna be you know and you and you listen to those kind of advice and it was the best thing I did I came back home and I was doing it out here and lo and behold one day I got scouted to work out in Los Angeles and you know pretty much did a great journey out there and living out <laughs> life out in Beverly Hills and I met so much beautiful people out there and I really truly learned I mean this is one of the world's biggest Mecca Los Angeles you know being living in a place where I got to meet such interesting people you know and going up the street to West Hollywood and really embracing what you know and the thing is is that i went there out of a fluke like i didn't know i was going to do all of this but it just kept on going and going and going that journey and you know life is is very very unpredictable and for me it was you know i pretty much had my my time of planning my business and stuff but I would say 80% of the time, it was really, truly my gut feeling to go with things. Because sometimes in life, you know, we get scared and we get uncertain of things. But if you kind of take that time to step back, and really see things from a different bird's eye view in yoga you know it's 
everybody think, oh, okay, I can't do yoga. Are you kidding me? Anybody can do yoga because there's so many different components as in yoga. And most of it is the internally factor of life. Because once you see inside is this beautiful bliss of light that when you meditate, you can feel that bliss of sensation of clarity. You know, and that's something that no matter how much money you have or how much likes you have or it comes down to really getting to know yourself and by that the movement the poses of each day life will go forward and so yoga is a huge meaning because people out here in the west you know structure it as an as a exercise as a physical thing to do and it's like surfing, you know, it's just going on this board on this wave of with light with nature. I mean, that's a, something like an unreal feeling. And so really the new moon is coming up on the 6th of October. And this is a time to really plant your seed for the next 20 years and I keep on saying that because we've already passed you know we're counting down next year it's going to be 18 years <laughs> you know it takes time to plan and really activate when I say activate you gotta activate your system saying okay and this is what I learned really from that Japanese sensei, the Japanese, where on my birthday, he gave me that message. At that time, it didn't make any sense. I was like, what? You know, the it's my birthday. I wanted to get this and I wanted, you know, it was that part of me that I needed to let go, that behavior problem. And a lot of us, we don't recognize our own behavior how we act you know i came back and wow i never know I, I did anything wrong to anybody my bad you know and some people's attitude was really but yeah it affected me but and at, at the end of the day i moved on and so their behavior is because they're not happy about something and for me, I realize <clears throat> if I keep on falling into that, that energy and not go forward with what I want to do with my life. You know, this pandemic really made us think twice about life. Maybe three times, four times, five times. You know, because we're having people really pass passing away from left to right you know and it just shows that health is the true wealth in life and we need to always do preventive care and with that i was like oh my god i didn't know how much i had in my bag you keep on carrying it on your shoulders saying, oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm bad, I'm good, I'm bad, but I really didn't take that time to just let really sit down and start to let go until I start to do that. And when I realized doing that, I said, you know, all these gifts that I have, all these treasures that I have, I would love to share it with everyone. And so, but I had to go and seek. You know, when you have a business for 20 years, you have to do housekeeping. You know, you have to take care of things that need to be taken care of. And, you know, first and foremost is taking care of yourself to figuring out what you want.
can declutter like Mar you know Marie Kondo she if it doesn't make you happy or doesn't bring you a smile let it go and so or put its place put it to a good resting place and so like I said coming up October the 6th is the new moon and so I'm getting ready putting together my next 20 years and hoping that everything will be this peaceful and this beautiful so you take care and enjoy gosh look at this the outer world of life in peace and in harmony Aloha.